Hi, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Rachel, and I get to read you some stories today. We're gonna to read some stories about baby animals. So our first book is Tender Moments in the Wild, Animals and Their Babies. All around the world, animals love their babies. A swan makes sure her baby is comfortable. A cheetah nuzzles her baby to say hello. A seal cuddles with her baby on the beach. A tiger washes her baby with her tongue. Do you see how many tiger babies are in this picture? I see one and two. An elephant nurses her baby as family members stand guard. A crocodile carries her babies carefully in her powerful jaws. An orangutan holds her baby close to her. A scorpion gives her babies a piggyback ride. Look at all those babies. A pelican feeds her hungry baby some fish. See the baby reaching inside to get some fish? A snake watches her babies so they don't wander off. A humpback whale swims with her baby in the ocean. A lioness takes a nap with her babies. A hippopotamus shows her baby how to take a bath. A polar bear gives her baby a cozy place to sleep. Animals love their babies, just like humans do. The end. For our next book, we're going to read a book about a duckling and some big trucks. This one's called The Digger and the Duckling by Joseph Kiefler. You see the little duck right there. Digger and his crew loved to work. Each day they rolled, and hoisted, and dug, and built. One day, a lost duckling appeared. She waddled and quacked and wandered through the, do the job site. That duckling is blocking my blade, said Dozer. That duckling is pooing on my polish, said Mixie. That duckling is a nuisance said Crane. The other big trucks agreed, but Digger did not. She's not a nuisance, said Digger. She's looking for her mother. We are not mothers, said Crane. We are big trucks. We do not babysit, said Dozer. We build. That duckling must go, said Roller. When the workday was done, Digger drove the duckling to the edge of the city. Off you go, little one, said Digger. But the duckling waddled right back into Digger's scoop. Quack, quack, said the duckling. Digger smiled. You can stay for tonight. Tomorrow your mother will come.
The next day, the big trucks were back at work, smashing, hauling, hoisting, building. Wherever Duck Digger drove, the duckling followed too. She waddled through our road, said Roller. She ruined our work, said Holler. She is more than a nuisance, said Crane. That duckling is trouble. The other big trucks agreed. But Digger and Squirt did not. She's not trouble, said Squirt. She is just looking for some water. We can build her a pond, said Digger. Quack, quack, said the duckling. Digger scooped and Squirt sprayed and the two big trucks built the duckling a pond. Off you go, little one, said Digger. She paddled and bobbed until her legs grew tired. Tomorrow your mother will return, said Squirt. Many tomorrows came and went. Each day, the duckling worked alongside the big trucks. She helped scoop, scoop. She helped mixy, mix. And she helped hauler, haul. Do you see how the duckling's helping? She's helping with her bill, scooping. She's helping haul. What a worker, said Roller. The other trucks agreed. She's more than a worker, said Crane. She's a builder. Together, the crew cared for the duckling. They filled her belly, they cleaned her feathers, and they played and played. Spring became summer. The duckling became a duck and the crew became a family. One day in late summer, a great wind whipped up. It bent the trees and shook the buildings. She is not safe, said Digger. We should take a break. The other trucks agreed. But the great wind whipped again a whip so strong it rattled Digger's rivets and blew the duck out of Digger's scoop. Uh-oh. The big trucks went to work. Catch her, said Holler. Hook her, said Crane. Save her, said Digger. Before the big trucks could catch her, she spread her wings and flew high into the air and back into Digger's scoop. The big trucks cheered, but Digger did not. He realized their duck was grown now. Your future is out there, said Digger. Quack, quack, said the duck. Quack, quack, said the big trucks. The wind picked up again. The duck turned to the south and flew. The big truck smiled proudly as they watched her go. She's flying south for the winter like ducks do. The seasons changed. The big trucks built. And all the while they thought of the duck, hoping she would return. And then one day, She did. And that's the end of this book. Now, my next book is a fun book that you get to help at home. It's a book called Whose Baby Is This? by Julie Murphy. Babies in the wild, big and small, short or tall, all animals start out as babies. Some babies look like small copies of their parents. 
Others look nothing like their parents. Many babies are born helpless. They need their parents to keep them safe. But some babies take off on their own right away from the start. These babies never meet their parents. It's a big world out there. Animal babies have a lot to learn. Babies that stay safe grow into adults, and then they may have babies of their own. Can you guess each animal's baby? I'm gonna read the page. I'm gonna show you a picture. It's gonna have a picture of a baby animal, and you have to guess which animal is the parent, or which one it will grow up to look like. Whose baby is this? At first, this baby needs its mother's help to stay warm. But within weeks, this baby is ready to play. Some people share their homes with this animal. They treat it like one of the family. Whose baby is this? Is it a fox? A dog? A wolf? Or a hyena? Hint, this animal is the world's oldest pet. Some people call it man's best friend. Can you guess? This, this baby is a baby dog. Let's try the next page. This baby's gray and white feathers make it look nothing like its bright pink parents. As the chick grows, it eats millions of tiny pink shrimp. Eating shrimp helps turn this bird's feathers pink. Whose baby is this? A purple finch? A pink cockatoo? A flamingo or a spoonbill. Hint, this bird catches food with its head upside down. Its beak digs in the mud and strains out dirt and water. Gulp, the bird swallows down the food left behind. Whose baby is this? It's a flamingo baby. Ready for the next one? In the hollow of a rainforest tree, a mother has guarded her eggs and kept them warm. Yellow, red, or brown babies soon hatch from the eggs. In a year or two, these babies will be as green as the trees they live in. Whose baby is this? Is it a green tree python? A green tree frog? A chameleon? Or a green mamba? Hint. This animal has a tail with a skinny tip. When the tip wriggles, it looks like a worm. Any curious animals that come too close could end up as lunch. Which animal is this? Or whose baby is this? It's a green tree python. Only the size of a jelly bean at birth, this joey snuggles in its mother's pouch. It drinks her milk and grows. When it leaves its mother's pouch, this joey will not crawl, walk, or run. It will jump using its strong back legs. Whose baby is this? Is it an opossum? A Tasmanian devil? A kangaroo? Or a kangaroo mouse? Hint, this joey makes its home in Australia. It hops around deserts and grasslands. Whose baby is this? If you said kangaroo, you're right. It's hard to imagine this sleeping baby will grow into a giant. To grow big and strong, this cub will eat lots of bamboo. A bone in its front paws acts like a thumb to grip the bamboo. Whose baby is this? A raccoon, a koala, a grizzly bear, or a giant panda? Hint, this is one of the world's most threatened animals. It lives in the forests of China. Whose baby is this? It's a giant panda. Let's see what's next. This baby munches on leaves but no one nibbles on this baby. It looks like a blob of bird poop. This creepy crawler later turns green and then becomes a pupa. Inside the pupa's changing room, it becomes an adult. Whose baby is this? 
an earthworm, a tiger swallowtail butterfly, a moth, or a ladybug. Hint, this animal gets part of its name from the yellow and black pattern on its wings. Whose baby is this? It's a tiger swallowtail butterfly baby. In the world's coldest place, this baby began inside an egg. Snug and warm, the egg sat on its father's feet. Now soft feathers keep this chick warm. Soon this chick will grow black and white waterproof feathers. Whose baby is this? A dove? A bald eagle? A puffin? Or an emperor penguin? Hint. This bird is the largest of its kind. It stands nearly four feet or 1.2 meters tall. Whose baby is this? It's a penguin, an emperor penguin baby. This small striped baby has sharp teeth, hard scales, and strong jaws. When it grows up, this cold-blooded creature will eat almost anything. Right now, many animals hunt it. This baby usually stays close to its mother. Whose baby is this? Is it an American alligator? A bearded dragon? A Komodo dragon? Or a Gila monster? Hint, this kind of animal has been on Earth for millions of years. It lived with the dinosaurs. Wh whose baby is this? It's an alligator, an American alligator baby. We just got a couple more. Let's see if you can get the, guess these ones. This baby swims and has gills like a fish. Its parents look like shiny wet lizards. But this baby is not a fish or a lizard. Animals live, or adults live in leaves near the ponds. They breathe with their lungs and skin. Whose baby is this? A chameleon, a toad, a salamander, or a gecko. Hint, bright spots make this animal stand out. But this animal knows how to stay safe. It hunts only at night. Whose baby is this? Hmm, it's a salamander baby. Ready for the next one? This baby is an insect hunter. Soon it will stop eating. It will shed its skin and become a pupa. In an, about a week's time, it will become an adult. Adults have shiny bright bodies with black dots on their backs. Whose baby is this? A ladybug? A frog? A butterfly? Or a spider? Hint. Farmers like this animal. It eats the insects that chomp on crops on farm fields. Hmm, whose baby is this? It's a ladybug baby. This is the last one. Let's see if you can guess whose baby this is. These babies hatched and floated around for months in the sea. They have already changed shape a few times but they still don't look like their parents. Their parents have bumpy skin, two stomachs, and five arms. Whose baby is this? Is it an octopus? A sea star? A sea anemone? Or a crab? Hint, this animal is not shiny, but it is named after something that twinkles. Hmm, whose baby is this? It's a sea star baby. Here's all the answers. Animal babies may be cute, but these animals have a lot of growing to do. They can be easily hurt. If you find a baby animal in the wild, remember not to get too close. You might scare the baby or its parents, which may be nearby. And that's a little baby deer. That's the end of this book and the end of our story time. Thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next time.